Welcome back, folks. Well, with Friday being the first Sports Force Extra, that means that the Sports Force Rewind is coming your way right now. So what are we waiting for? Let's get a look at some of the best plays from the past week in this season's first edition of the Sports Force Rewind. We'll start off with Quinn Olsen not seeing anything down the field, so he takes off and Olsen proceeds to weave in and out of the defense before finding space on the outside and turning on the Jets. Hewlin gets the highlight and the 22-19 win. Across the border, Yankton and Mitchell and a QB run of a different kind. Lucas Kampshoff just bulldozes a defender on his way in for the score. Yankton gets the 42-0 shutout victory. Now, usually when someone gets mossed, it's a receiver making the catch, but Elkhorn Valley's Nate Decker goes up and over for the interception in the win for the Falcons. A little security camera footage here, but if you look closely, that's Lane Kruger coming up with the interception and unhitching the trailer as he takes it back for the score in CLGLR's season opening win. Some special teams action. Dayton Harrell of Sioux City North fields the kick, and Harrell proceeds to find a lane and turn on the boosters. Harrell's like Dom Toretto, real fast and furious on his way in for the house call. North gets the highlight, but South Sioux gets the win, 46-37. Over in South Dakota, a little slant pass from Keaton Gale to Grayson Gerard, who sheds an arm tackle and is running free into the end zone, an EPJ's blowout victory back in Nebraska. Talk about finding the seam. Wayne's Caden Keller hits Sam Junk on the go route, and he goes all the way. But Wayne would fall to Omaha Ron Colley. Last but certainly not least, Giovanni Cabongo, or as I call him, Giovanni Cabamo, because when his foot touches a football, that thing explodes. This is the school record for Lamar's. He hits from 45 yards out, and the Bulldogs get the win 41-13. And that's your Sports Force Rewind.